Oh, <laughs> I don't know what my new intro is. I need help. I need an intro or something that I say when I start my vlog, but I also want to change the, the beginning and ending outro art slash video thing. I just feel like it's just not me anymore. I don't know. I think I want something more sparkly and pretty and what's happening now just isn't it. So I don't know. I think I might be getting back on Fiverr to figure something out. But we are leaving work and I want to rant about two things, maybe three, mostly probably two. First thing, apparently there's some sort of boil advisory at my job and we're not supposed to be drinking the water. I am constantly dehydrated and was like, okay, I specifically did not bring coffee with me today because I was like, I'm gonna drink water today. I'm gonna make sure I drink water. So I filled my little cup up, went sat down at my desk and chugging water all day. Then here come around noon. Hey you guys, don't drink the water. There's a boil advisory. We have free bottled water in the, in the bistro. I'm like, I, I've been drinking it all day. What do you mean? <laughs> so I'm just waiting for the parasite that's probably in the water to go ahead and take over and eat me from the inside out. So I don't know guys, my days are numbered. And then I go to the bistro to get water and they, everybody just swooped in, took all the Aquafina water and left Dasani. And I'm just like, what, what am I supposed to do with this? So then I ended up just drinking Tahitian treat. So I bring the Tahitian treat back to my desk and I'm just gonna drink that, even though it's not that good. It's, it's, I like, it's pretty good. So I have my Tahitian treat sitting there and then one of my coworkers, this is segueing into the second thing that I have an issue with. One of the coworkers, and she's one of those people who always gotta be joking or being like, I don't know. She just always gotta be joking about something. And sometimes I'm like, okay, and other times I'm just like, you trying it for real. So she come over, she pick up my Tahitian treat, and she say to the older lady, they only sell this drink in the hood. If you see this drink, you're in the hood. Now this other person that's saying this is black, but she's saying this to someone that is not black. So she's showing the drink to them, and that person's like, I've never seen that before. And she's like, it's because you've never been to the hood. And I'm just like, are you kidding me? Nothing about me is hood, ghetto, like any of that. I don't feel like there's anything wrong with it. Time and place for everything. But absolutely nothing about me screams this. So for you, like, it seems like every little thing she gets a chance to point out, she's like gonna say something negative about me. Every single time. And I know it is. It's literally her own insecurity and she's just projecting on me. But literally, I have my own shit to deal with. I also don't need a workplace bully because I'm trying to be nice about it. But if anything, I feel like I cannot be nice about it. People are trying me. So it's like anytime I say anything, like we had um, a meeting and sometimes they pull like chats. If you had a really good chat, they'll pull it and, sh and like read it off for everybody. So I had a really good chat, I think like two weeks ago or last week and they read it off in the meeting and the girl and the person's like, oh, well, I don't think that was, that couldn't have been you. Like, nah, that, that, that doesn't seem like Chrissy. Like always just trying to make me the butt of some sort of joke. And it's like, come on it's like you never know what somebody is dealing with quit messing with me because i am already like on the edge with stuff i'm already just like okay well this annoys me this upsets me let me put that in a box and put that to the side and not deal with it to the point where i've boxed up so much stuff please do not mess with me because literally you never know the, what day is going to be the day i will snap and i'm trying to be kind and patient with people but I need to go ahead and get a doctor's note and they need to send us home because they're talking about we're not gonna have clean drinking water for three days. So for three days, you want me to drink what? Like this is unacceptable working conditions. Send me home. This is, this is unrealistic. And we just had horrible lighting the whole time I was ranting, but you just had to listen to the audios, you know? Enjoy that audio complaint there. But anywho, that pissed me off and I couldn't wait to leave work and get in my car and talk to the camera about that because I am pissed. Like I seriously need to go ahead and figure out how to get some sort of doctor's note 
a work from home. Like I need to be on some sort of a leave so I can get away from these people who are just irritating my soul. And I can literally, I can see if I was like going to out my way to go associate with these people, but it's like, you're coming to my desk. You're coming to my area. You're picking up my things. You're commenting on my stuff. Like, ugh, leave me alone, please. Wow, that grass down there looks like the grass in Stardew Valley that you like scythe with the scythe thing and you get the hay to feed your animals. <sighs> Everything looks like Stardew Valley now. I did get this pizza from work and it was so good. Like, I don't understand. I don't know who makes the pizza at my job, but I swear it wasn't the bistro employees because that pizza is too delicious to be made by a bistro employee. Like, I just refuse to believe that. Um, it's traffic and it's bright. What is happening? Oh, oh. I'm about to go home and I will see you guys in a second. All right, we're back home and I just wanted to show you guys because I'm pretty excited about this. So I have on these jeans and I've been scared to put on these jeans for the longest because I knew that I gained just a little bit of weight and I was like, okay, these are my favorite jeans and I don't want to get rid of them because look at the bottoms they have all these pearls and like rhinestones on them and i guess it's mostly pearls and studs but they're so cute and i've had them for a while and i didn't want to get rid of them so i was just like okay well i'm just gonna hold on to them until i can get back in them um, i lost my scale because i moved it out of the bathroom and then i couldn't find well i haven't tried looking for it since then but i put on the jeans and they fit so <sighs> i'm getting back to not eating like a, so much like a raccoon anymore. So I guess that's the plus of going back to work. I can limit all my snacking, but hot upper lip sweat already. But okay, I'm going to eat my burgers from yesterday. I'm just gonna eat one. And then I'm gonna go play Stardew Valley because that's all I like to do. I need a new game that's inspirational for me to want to stream. I know I've been like shirking on it, but I haven't had a game that was just like, yes, I need to stream this. Cause I don't feel like Stardew Valley is interesting enough for me to stream, like not fun enough to watch. And that just kind of puts mostly all the focus on me and I have to be entertaining. Quick burp. My delicious, delicious teach and treat, which apparently only hood people enjoy. People are so annoying. Like, I hate when they say, oh, this specific thing is only for this people. This specific thing is for these types of people. Like, why you gotta put people in boxes and be so annoying? <sighs> Anywho, it's hot back here. I need to get my AC. I need to take these jeans off. See ya back and this outfit today is really cute when i get back to the house i can show you what it really looks like but as for right now you get the idea also i'm so lazy about putting on earrings my ear holes at the bottom are big enough to fit two pairs of earrings so i still have my silver hoops but i also stuck these in there because you know it's fine, it all fits. And who has time to be taking on and off earrings every time you wanna put on something that matches your outfit? Pile them all in there, it's fine, it's fine. Um, I am on my lunch break and on my way home because I ordered some stuff on Amazon, I ordered a pair of shoes, and it's only pretty much one o'clock, which means all this stuff would be sitting outside for another four and a half hours, and I'm just like, huh. I'm not even about to get you fraudsters the chance. You're not gonna steal my stuff. You gotta be quicker than that. So I'm gonna go home and bring all my packages inside so they're safe. And this is now day two of no water at my job. I don't understand what their plan is because they're projecting that it's gonna be three days that we wouldn't be able to drink the water. And that's just what they're projecting. It's not confirmed. And so they're giving away free bottled water in the bistro. 
the average person is gonna drink, what, two to three bottles of water, maybe more. Um, how do you plan on having two to three bottles of water for each person in this huge building even if you say, like, there's way more than 100 people in this building. So let's just say 100 people minimum. You're going to have to give two, I mean, two to three bottles per person. 100 people, like, that's a lot of water. And considering there's probably at least 500 plus people, maybe, in this working in this building, you guys don't have enough water to hydrate all these people for three days. What are you doing? send these people home like I, at this point I feel like I'm being held prisoner at my job you know I'm bringing in my own water at this point because I don't like the way they're only giving away pure purified water and I'm used to drinking spring water so it's just, it tastes funny to me so no drinking water and you guys there's just no way you have the ability to keep I mean just to source that much water bottled water there's just no way So I guess they're doing like a first come first serve. So if you come in there and there's water, you get it. And my supervisor, she'll go and like get as many as she can hold and bring them back to the, our area. And it's just like, these are our water rations, y'all. <laughs> so, you know, one person I walked out to their department and they were like, oh, they didn't have any water. So I got this Gatorade and I just been drinking on it slowly so I can have water. And I'm like, they're on the phones all day. Could you imagine talking all day and not having anything to drink? Your mouth is dry. It's like sandpapery at this point. I'm waiting for folks to start fainting and falling out because apparently that's what it's going to have to take. What is happening over there? There must have been a very bad accident the other day because there were like just people lined up next to the highway looking off into the trees and the gate, you know how they have the metal railings? This one was like totally bent up and there were people coming in and out of the woods. Like did someone swerve drastically into the woods? Cause that's extreme. Also, what kind of truck are you driving? Because your little sedan didn't do that much damage. There's just no way. Unless those little railings look tougher than what they really are. And they're actually made of spray painted paper. Which could happen. Or it's like, I don't know, tough looking aluminum foil. Ah, I've gotten totally off track. I've just been rambling. I originally popped on here because I was going to talk about my apartment. So the assistant to the owner, who I like very much because she seems to be on her job way better than the actual owner. So I talked to her and I tell her like, hey, that maintenance person you sent out, the one that was worried about my ring light and his makeup versus actually about the issue in my apartment. Um, he was, so my window, the one I told you almost sliced the fingers off of the main maintenance dude. So I'm like, this window is broken. And then the other one, the, the window in the kitchen is supposed to be double paint. It's missing one of the panes. So the window, both windows are technically broken. They're broken. There's like no if and or, like, there's no way around it. They're broken. So this guy is like, okay, I'm gonna get some screws and we're just gonna screw the top half shut so that nothing, so it doesn't come back down. Like, um, how about you replace the window, you jerk? Like, what do you mean you're just gonna screw the top half up so it doesn't fall down? It's still broken. You can't just stick anything on there and just be like, oh, that should fix it, okay fine what about the actual window that is missing a pane like he didn't even address that he was gonna stick some gum essentially on the other window and I'm just like tell her about that and she's like what um, I'm gonna assign this to an actual window company so that they can come look at these windows I'm like thank you so much like damn okay I got concerned because I know I had a bunch of packages delivered, but I didn't see them. I was looking at somebody else's door. <laughs> False alarm. <laughs> but okay, let's go inside really quick, take my packages and then indoors, use the bathroom and then go back to work because I only got a 30 minute lunch break and I'm pretty sure I've spent at least 10 of it already driving here. Oh shoot, I'm in neutral. I thought it was in park. <laughs> okay. 
excuse everything that's in the background this mirror is still in the kitchen but check out my skirt it's very cute everything is all black so you probably are having a hard time seeing anything i don't know maybe you get it maybe you don't and then i have my shoes on it's all black you can't see anything um i brought my packages in i had four yeah four but some of them are for my aunt's birthday thing so we got another decorating video coming up we got to redeem ourselves we're just doing something mini for my aunt but okay it's time to go back to work for sure just got back to work and obviously we're in spot a2 or 2a or this might be the floor this is floor 2a but i'm pulling in here and they have the people putting the gates up for safety reasons but dude had on a crop top and a safety vest and i kind of feel like maybe he should put his lower back away but it's hot outside so i guess we can let it slide but it's a i pull up and i thought it was a chick because it was just all lower back out like from the middle of his back all the way to like his ass crack was just out and i'm like oh it's a girl that, that that's what's up nah it's some skinny dude <laughs> I am so hungry and I got hungry as soon as I left my place and uh, of course I did not grab anything to eat and today has been the day of executive decisions my 15 minute break was half an hour my 30 minute break was 45 minutes like I'm just out here risking it it's been 45 minutes and I'm still sitting here so let me go inside when I get off work, I have to go to Ulta because I don't have any more eyeliner. Like, eyebrow pencil, we're out completely. And my eyeliner's kind of dried out. So, I have to stop at Ulta to get some more of that stuff. So, yeah. I guess when I get off work, we're going to Ulta. But I'm starving. All I got is an applesauce and some water at my desk. <sighs> okay, we're going into work. It is bright out here. So we are leaving Alta. I had to stop and get oh, I had to stop and get some eyeliner and an eyebrow pencil because I am out of both and I waited to the last minute to restock. So I came and got a pack of each. But they discontinued the eyeliner I like, so I had to get this waterproof version that was like three dollars more. So I'm like, f you guys. Everybody love that eyeliner. Why you discontinue it? Anywho, I should have just bought, that's what I get for waiting to the last minute because I'm pretty sure it's, it may or may not still be on Amazon. If it's on Amazon, I'm gonna go home and buy just like two boxes just to have, just in case, cause that at least get me through the year. F you guys, I'm going. People are so inconsiderate. Oh, I am so hungry. I cannot wait to go home and eat. We're eating another burger. We have two more burgers left. So we need a burger today and tomorrow. And then I think we're gonna go to the store on, I think tomorrow. Tomorrow we should go to the store because I don't have any milk and I was gonna buy the ingredients I need to make tacos, but I should probably make my pickled red onions tonight because they taste better when they sit overnight or the longer they sit, they taste better. So I feel like I should go ahead and make some of those so that when I have tacos, I think on Friday, I had a burger today. Today is Thursday. Thursday, I'll probably have tacos if I don't eat out. You know, I've been wanting some wings so badly. So we'll see. I might make them tomorrow. We'll see what happens. Also, the camera looks very crooked. I spun the ca the little mount around because I wanted it to sit a different way, but now I think it's kind of slanted. So I don't know. My supervisor said I looked really cute today and she's like, oh, I need to find you a date. Like, she's so cute. And then she like, I could tell, I could tell today she was definitely off. Cause normally like, she's loud she's like very happy she's like laughing walking around like she's usually like a brighter person and today she was okay but i could tell she was just kind of faking it 
So, cause I know what faking it looks like. So I'm like talking to her on the way out and cause I sent her a message in the middle of the day and was like, are you okay today? And she's like, oh no, it's fine, it's fine. And then on the way out the door today, she's like, she gave me like this weird look and then I'm like, okay, what's going on? And so I came over to her desk and she's just telling me that her, whatever's going on in her life. And I'm just like, oh my God, are we friends? Are, am I connecting with my supervisor? I'm gonna start calling her mom. <laughs> Pretty sure she has kids my age. See, that's, I cross the line and I get weird because now I'm like, can I call you mom? <laughs> For absolutely no reason. <laughs> oh, you gotta stay on the right side of the fence, man. Getting strange. Did you guys see the new Spider-Man trailer? I cannot wait to watch just Spider-Man. And I really can't wait to see the Green Goblin. I'm really hoping it's gonna be William Dafoe. Um, I love Tobey Maguire as Spider-Man. I didn't, I never watched the Andrew Garfield Spider-Man. Skipped that whole thing. I went straight from Tobey Maguire straight to Tom Holland. Whatever happened in between there, I don't know about it. I don't know about it. <sighs> but I'm exciting. I love Doctor Strange. He is like my favorite. He's so sassy. I think that's why I like Tony Stark because he was so sassy. But since, you know, he's dead, you know, the new sassy guy is Doctor Strange. Yeah, that's all. I'm going home. We're going to make a burger. I'll see you guys back at the house because I have packages I want to open and I'll show you guys what I bought because it's another pair of shoes. So see you back at home. We're in the house. And we are rocking the same dirty background we've been rocking for about two months now. I don't see any change coming. Ugh. All right, let's open up. I don't think we can open up these two. I think these two things are for my aunt. So we're gonna save this for a different video. Just put that inside that box. But we can open up. It is warm in my apartment. I need to get back to where my room is, where the AC is. I want to move the AC that's in my room to the living room and get a quieter one for my bedroom. I don't know what this is. Star Vision Lamp. Touch controlled on and off, touch sleep. Dim is this a nightlight? Does this add, oh, you know what? I think this adds, I mean, if it would focus. I think it's kind of focusing, but I can't really tell because your girl was, may or may not be partially blind. There we go. I think this adds lights. We're gonna, we're gonna try this. We'll try that later. <sighs> Stay tuned to the end of the video and I'll show you guys my uh, Star Vision light. This box I'm excited for because it's shoes. You know, we need shoes because we got feet. And these are Jessica Simpson shoes. Jessica Simpson has good taste in shoes. If you didn't know, I'm telling you now that Jessica Simpson has some cute shoes. Don't walk, run to get you a pair because these are precious. They look humongous. <laughs> Check these out, for, first of all. Just take those in. Oh my gosh. Jessica Simpson, you done did it again, girl. These are so cute. Do you see them sparkle? Oh my gosh. Hold on, where's my phone? I have to FaceTime my coworker really quick. <sighs> Why you answer the phone with the straight face? <laughs> I wanted to show you my new shoes. These just look. Fancy. Where'd you get those from? Macy's. There's, those are cute. I know. I feel like they're not sparkling the right way. They're not as sparkly as yours, but they're so cute. They are cute. I'm going to go copy and get me a pair of yours, though. <laughs> well, um, you ordered them online? Yep, Macy's. Yeah, those are cute. I love them. I'm wearing, I'm wearing them tomorrow. <laughs> So I can see now. Yes. Okay, that was all I wanted. I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>
that's a coworker I like because she actually is nice to me and talks to me like a human being and not like I'm her therapist. We love that. We're gonna have to try these on really quick because, oh, these, look at that sparkle. So they came in this style and then like this shiny plaid and I wanted to get the plaid one but they were just like, rubber boot material and i'm just like oh baby i wish they were like canvas some sort of fabric i can't i don't know if i can rock the i don't know the more i look at these the more i'm feeling like michael jackson <laughs> was it um which video was it when he had all the rhinestones was it uh ah i can't remember he has so many that he was wearing just sparkly it's hot oh my gosh <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna try on these shoes really quick and I'll be right back to show you. Literally the only pair of socks I could find in the dark. They're kinda cute though. Are y'all ready for this? I just don't feel like you guys were prepared to see these shoes because, ooh, these are gorgeous. Oh my gosh, look at my dirty floor. I feel like Michael Jackson for sure. Oh, these are so cute. I'm inspired. I might put on some lipstick tomorrow. <laughs> oh, we love cute shoes. Ah, <sighs> oh, the mustache sweat. Also, my eyelids are sweating. Everything is sweating. I need to wash my hair, but I think I might try to get away with not washing it by wearing it up and pinning it around and making some sort of updo to trick folks into thinking like, oh, her hair's not dirty. She's styling, you know? That's what we're gonna do. But okay, I need to get in the shower. I need to edit this video so I can have it up for tomorrow. Oh, wait, I was supposed to open up one more thing. Now you guys are sitting on top of a disinfectant container disinfected wipe container also the ring light is here there's a lot going on i'm flustered i wanted to open this up because i haven't done it yet it's another blind box with the uh, cute little cats on there what do you see it oh <laughs> there we go Dewey Jules, he just sits there and he's just hanging out, chilling, cute. Oh my gosh, you guys, I'm drenched. It's not even that hot outside, but it's hotter in my apartment than it is outside. This is inhumane. Um, I, took, I think I took that starlight to my bedroom. I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys some footage of that, but we're gonna go ahead and end the vlog and I will see you guys in the next one. Um, I'll see you guys in the next one. It'll most likely be Friday because I've been taking off Thursday every week because I just ain't had it in me. So it might be Friday when you see the next vlog, but tee -hee. <laughs> Bye. Quick update. That little light has been on the charger for at two hours at this point and it still has it turned on. So I looked it up and it's so cute. Like it's supposed to be like the sunset kind of look I think they call it a comet light or whatever they're calling it but it's so cute so I'm kind of sad it didn't work I'm gonna leave it on the charger to see if maybe it'll decide to cut on but I'm sad about it